we're going to look at solving exponential logarithmic equations. We're in part B now. If we take a look at the equation, we can see that it's 5 raised to the x plus 2 and 4 raised to the 1 minus x. In this case, the two bases do not have any in common, both 5. 5 is a prime number and 4 is 2 squared. So we would have to apply 1. So what we'll do is we'll take the log of each side. So I'm going to move down the screen here first. It will let me. There we go. Okay. Make it a little bit bigger as well. Okay, here we go. So the first thing we're going to do is take the log of each side. We can use base 10 or base E, either way. I decided to use base 10, which is called common log. So I took the log of each side, I took the logs of the left side, log of the right hand side. By the power rule, I can rewrite the exponents in front. So I did that for each of them. And then next thing I want to do is apply the distributive property, multiply x times log of 5, and then 2 times log of 5. The same thing on the other side, 1 times log of 4 minus x times log of 4. Next thing I want to do is I want to get my x's together on one side of the equation. So I add the x log of 4 to this side, and I want to get these two on the right-hand side. So I subtracted the 2 log of 2 over here. For these two, I can factor an x. For these two, I just rewrote the second one as 5 squared instead of 2 log of 5. Okay, and then we work on the way up here. Log, log of 5 plus log of 4 can be combined together by the product rule. So I get x log of 5 times 4. F log of 4 minus log of 5 squared could be written as a quotient over 5 squared. So finally, what I want to do is the next step is I want to get my x by itself. So I divide both sides by log of 5 times 4, or 20. And that's what I got at this point. Finally, instead of 5 squared, I want to put 25. Instead of 5 times 4, I put 20. I plug this into my calculator, and I round, and then I get negative 0.612 as my answer. So that concludes this example.